Shades TV, welcome to uh, Jeff and John, the founders of Dita Eyewear. These are the actual men that designed, created Dita since 1995. Gentlemen, welcome to uh, Shades TV. How you doing? Good. Welcome. So tell us, what, uh, how was Dita born? Dita was born, uh, a couple of us, well, Jeff and I, uh, were both photographers. And uh, one day we just woke up and thought it would be fun to do a a sunglass line for women and that's the idea behind it that's how we originally started and and uh, we uh, went out and just kind of fell into it sideways so it's almost like a anything. yeah we didn't know anything that's why we, I said no we, idea fell into eyewear. Eyewear. we didn't know how to make eyewear we didn't know what a temple was we didn't know anything we just kind of went in full bore figured it out from the beginning it's obviously a, a natural instinct that uh, you both uh, had installed in you. Yeah. Being obviously both creative people. We've always been creative people, but it was, it was, it was a funny one to fall into because it was something we thought would be kind of an easy thing to do because it wasn't very big. You know, like I, if we knew now, I think it would have been different. <laughs> yeah, we nothing, never done it. Yeah. I would tell them, you don't want to do this. <laughs> so nothing is ever it. easy. Yeah, it's, it's not easy. But the good thing about it, you persisted. Your product is amazing. The quality is, is absolutely fantastic. And look, we know that our customers in Australia love your product. Oh, it's a niche market, but uh, people do source it out and they come to us and uh, you know, we, we're doing very well with it. Yeah, Thank you. We've been definitely fortunate that there's been some Dita fans out there. And oh, definitely. really supported us. Definitely. People have owned six, 10 pairs and stuff like that, which I think that's what matters. Yeah. Repeat customers. One of the things that interests us is that uh, all your frames are made in Japan. Why Japan and not uh, Italy or France or the traditional sort of eyewear makers? Well, uh, the thing is about Japan is it's the la I feel like it's the last of the, the craftsmen. The people, the old guys that have been doing it for 35, 40 years and it doesn't really exist in any of the other locations. You might have a little bit of Italy and maybe one left in France, but in Japan, these guys are so meticulous about the product and how they do things, and and you could still have a guy who's 75 years old who's tumbling your product to create the best, you know, shine in the acetate, and and uh, it, it just it's the last of the craftsmen. I mean, we're there because they they do the best work. We're there because that's it, and no one can do it better. So we're going to stay there as long as we can until it doesn't exist there anymore, either. And I think we're still at a size that we can be in a place like that because uh, if you get too large they can't they can't accommodate that kind of quantity anyway so for yeah, us their capacity levels are very small and the technical frames that we do they wouldn't be able to produce that at a high quantity so i guess your product is i mean the runs that you do obviously are small runs they're not large runs yeah. so the craftsmanship is still there i mean yeah, i noticed so that in your product still, yeah, yeah. i noticed that in your product that the quality is, is absolutely amazing and the finish on your plastic frames the sheen that it gets is quite different to everything else. We use Japanese xyles, which we find is a lot harder. Yeah. And it polishes Polish up better. way better. Yeah. yeah. The Mazzucchelli plastics are a little, little too soft. Yes. So you really can't get a high polish on them. You really, if you compare the two the same, and you can polish the same, do everything, you'll notice that the Japanese xyles will have a higher luster yeah. that you're talking about. Even the, even the metal frames, the detail in the filigree detail that you have, and the materials are just exquisite. You know, and, so, and the fits are great, and uh, and you've also got this sort of retro sort of feel in most of your frames, but with a modern edge. Yeah, that's what I always say right there. Yeah. I said we like to keep it classic, but we like to add a little bit, of, a little bit of fresh, a little bit of modern to yeah, some reason classic. to repeat the past. Yeah. So you try to take the past influence and try to create it in a new way. Yeah, I notice that even in your metal frames and probably even your plastic uh, frames that uh, you actually even manufactured your own screws. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't we try to, we've been trying to manufacture like everything. We do custom xyles, yeah, like we've done uh, our, 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 a lot of our connections are you know, custom, almost even our rivets, you know, just so they can be completely part of it. Yeah. Where uh, it gives the, the optician the opportunity to yeah. something yeah. happens yeah. to like, yeah. take the yeah. yeah. So you guys are pretty hands on with your product. Oh, yeah. From the you know, beginning to the end. Yeah. It's our passion. Yeah. So I think you still so take the trash out. Yeah. I'll even ask your phones when yeah. I have to. Hey, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is quite unique even for our, for our Shades community to, to actually see the faces behind Dita. Oh, cool. So one thing that, uh, look, 
it, there's never a shortage of celebrities wearing your product in magazines. Uh, who, who are some of the uh, your most regular? I know that. Uh, I'd say recently, um, Usher has become a big fan. I mean, he's just did that new OMG video. He just did the BET Awards. Uh, he's been just rocking for us. I mean, I'm talking about the last couple of weeks. Um, I mean, we've had a lot of regulars over the years. Just you know, I think it has a little bit to do with being in LA and yeah. doing frames without a lot of logos on them. And it's very classic, but. Lately, it's been LeBron James, it's been P. Diddy, it's been Christian Aguilera, Eva Mendez. It's been it's been pretty pretty wild. Lately. That's my daughter's favorite singer, Christina Aguilera. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then we have uh, who else is uh, all the Kim Kardashians? That's been kind of yeah, crazy. the Kardashians are uh, Kim. I've seen a lot of. She's wears a lot of your product. Yeah, she's been, she's been a big fan. It's been a lot of well, that's a credit to you guys because I mean, obviously, they're not going to wear it if they don't like it. Of course. So that's we gotta do something right, hopefully, you know. We well, obviously yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, bad for a couple of photographers. Yeah. Who've stumbled into the eyewear business. I heard Kim came in here, she said that she's been buying Nita since like 1998, 97 from a boutique that we originally sold to. Wow. So she's a she's a real fan. Yeah, she's been uh, for a long time. Yeah. That's awesome. So tell me, is there a favorite model of yours that you, you love? That you wear that uh, uh changes. Funny. You put so much, I mean, I wear such a slow evolving process. You start something and you don't see it until a year later. By the time it comes out, you're already waiting for the next frame that you're working on. So it's always changing for us. For me, I don't know. My favorite frames are in basket. I think it's beautiful in our new Lancy Air frames. They look amazing. Yeah. Statesman. Statesman's cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Lancier, the small square, that frame, and that's personal favorites. But I mean, like favorites of part of a company, I'd say the flight and super and stuff yeah. like that have really given us the ability to grow our line. You know, good bread and butter frames that everybody likes. And stuff. Yeah. Now you guys design together. You work on now being designers, creative people tend to be quite temperamental. Do you guys tend to argue over designs and fight over something? Yeah, we have a few here and there. It but you get over it really quick, you know? Yeah. It's more, it's always, it's more about a package. It's just like, I want one way, he wants another way, so we just find a way to compromise. And at the end of the day, once we get the samples, we 90% of the time, we both agree. Agree that this is better than this. And if we can't, we ask people. We have enough peers and our friends yeah, that we can say, what do you think, what do you think? And try to like take our emotions out of it and just see what's going to be the best product for the end result, you know? So you're like a married couple at work, but then when it's all over, you just walk out, it's all yeah. cool. Can we high five <laughs> Well guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for talking to Shades TV and to our Shades community and uh, keep rocking on with, uh, with Dita. It's, it's, great. it's a great product and we love selling it and uh, you know, we'd like to see a lot of our customers wearing your product. All right, well, thank you very much.